and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about the uh, Quebec uh, Canada moped slash motorcycle looking bike band or style a bike band so let's hop on and the reason why I wanted to show you off the top the bike I'm riding because it probably fits in the or it does fit in the illegal category so let's talk about this Quebec bands moped style and motorcycle style e-bikes so if you resemble a moped or a motorcycle your bike does anyway in Quebec you can no longer legally ride it on the streets and I didn't know this for some reason I didn't see this and this was about seven weeks ago this went into law I think it was I think I read two different dates but I believe it was August the 6th uh, of 2024 that the, the law went into effect and so I thought wow and I started looking into it a little bit so I'm not going to go over the complete law and everything about it because I just don't want to take the time to do all that but I did want to point out a couple of things uh, with regard to this law and I don't like it and here's some of the things that are kind of weird to me okay so first of all who's judging what bike looks like a moped and what bike looks like a motorcycle and what's the criteria for that well this bike here that I'm on right now the Lyric Graffiti happens to have a seven inch headlight is that headlight too big for a bike a bicycle are they considering that as one of the issues I don't know um, but let's go over a few of the things that the law um, does not allow this new law in Quebec so one of the laws that's still there that was there before is the motor cannot exceed a nominal 500 watts okay so that's one of their laws that's this is in Quebec Canada and I believe all of Canada actually is that 500 watt law the bike cannot exceed 32 kilometers an hour okay the bike cannot um, and that this isn't just the speed you're using this is the bike uh, maximum speed that it can go so most e-bikes can go a little more than 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers so but anyway so that's another one and Here's one that really gets me. The tires. The tires or the wheels cannot look like motorcycle wheels. Cannot be or look like motorcycle wheels. Well, what exactly, how do they define what a motorcycle wheel looks like? So I don't know what exactly that means. Is it the size of the tire, the width of the tire, the thickness of the tire, the rim? like what is it that they call resemble a motorcycle I don't know and then the other one is the bike cannot have foot pegs foot uh, pegs or uh, the um, so it has to have basically has to have pedals which this bike does uh, maybe they considered this these wheels on this bike to be motorcycle wheels they're 20 inch by 4 inch I'm just using my bike as an example because I'm sure it's one that they call it to look like a motorcycle what looks have to do with anything is beyond me because something looks like something because you look like a criminal we're going to arrest you you know crazy anyway
Let me get turned here and then I'll talk some more. So here's one of the other really goofy things. And this bike is exactly does not have what they want. It does not have an adjustable seat height. So I can't adjust the seat height. So that's right away, that's one of the flaws. It just doesn't have one of these to be deemed as illegal. So yes, the bike seat on this particular bike cannot be adjusted. I can't adjust the seat height. So that means this bike is illegal, incorrect. And they can't have panels, any side panels covering the frame. So even if the frame is either partially or fully covered, that's a no-no. That's another flaw. I'm just reading off some of the stuff here. Uh, So their, their concern is the speed of the bike and the weight. Okay, let's, let's look at these. Speed of the bike. If somebody's riding erratically, it doesn't matter if it's a bike, a car, anything. That's not good, right? Common sense. So maybe they should just give these bikes a speed limit in the bike lane there's a speed limit and if you exceed that speed limit you may uh, receive a ticket for speeding that would simplify the whole thing um, because cars have speed limits because that car let's say 55 miles per hour is the speed limit and your car is capable of going 100 miles per hour they're not banning your car because the car can exceed the speed limit on the road. It's up to you to keep within that speed limit. So why can't they do the same for bikes? I don't know, but it's crazy. This is getting ridiculous. I thought there was something more uh, else I wanted to talk about with this, but there is something else though I do want to talk about within this new law that came in is how quickly it was imposed and right away immediately. Uh, immediately it went into effect. Well, I read a story where someone was getting their bike repaired a few days before uh, the law went into effect in, in Quebec on these uh, electric bike, uh, the crackdown on moped style, motorcycle style or resemblance bikes. So the guy was having his bike repaired and went back a few days after uh, taking it in to be repaired to, to pick it up. It was ready to, to be uh, picked up. He paid his $400 or whatever it was to repair the bike, whatever it had to be done to it. I don't remember now what it was. And the girl at the uh, place where he was getting his bike repaired proceeded to tell him, you can't ride that home. He said, what? She said, no, you can't ride that home. It's illegal. So he gets his bike repaired. The guy spent, it's an expensive bike. It was like a $5,000 bike and he had some things done to it. He had an extra battery put on it, some other stuff. So he soaked several thousand dollars into this bike. And then he's told, you can't ride that in, at home. So of course he said, yeah, I am gonna ride it home. I'm just gonna take the side streets and whatever. So he did. But here's something else, the weight. Okay, they talk about the weight of the bike. That's one of the concerns, right? The speed and the weight. We talked about speed. Well, the weight, Okay, I don't know how what they deem as being considered a heavy bike. 
This bike here weighs 80 pounds. I don't think this is heavy. That's with the two batteries on it. Um, but anyway, doesn't it depend too on how big the rider is? Okay, I'm 175. My bike is 80, so we're riding at 255 pounds right here of myself and machine. So what if the rider alone weighs 250? Because there's some big folks out there, right? Big guys, big women, and uh, they have e-bikes. Say it's a 250 pound rider and the bike weighs 100 pounds. That's 350 uh, coming down at you. I don't think it matters the weight. I think it's how you ride the bike. Do you ride it recklessly and crazily? Then you're at fault for riding like that. But to, to just paint everybody with the same brush, I don't think it's uh, fair. And what about all those guys that do deliveries with cargo bikes? Basically now, because I don't think you can even adjust seats on some of those anyway, the cargo bikes, what happens now with the cargo bikes that are purchased for delivery? So all the delivery guys out there, um, if they ride any bike that just the seat isn't adjustable, they're out. So they can't ride uh, and do their deliveries anymore. The whole thing is just a mess. And that's in Quebec. Now, I don't know if it's going to lead to other areas getting the same laws, but can you imagine that here? I think there would be absolute uproar, which I think is justified for this. It's crazy. Painting everyone with the same brush, if, if they think everyone's a wild and crazy driver, rider, um, maybe, maybe they should just crack down on the idiotic riding, you know, maybe that's what they need to do instead of trying to enforce laws that are a little bit, to me, silly. Anyway, that's my two cents worth. And I don't know the whole story on this. I've been trying to read stuff and look for stuff, but that's the gist of it anyway. You can go and check it out. Uh, just look up Quebec uh, e-bike uh, ban laws or whatever and you'll come up with it and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below do you have an opinion on this do you like this uh crackdown do you think it stinks what do you think leave a comment in the comments below and that's gonna do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you would like to subscribe to the channel and help support us, please do. Just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And like I say, uh, if you want to comment on this video, I'd be curious to see uh, what you guys have to say about it. So leave a comment in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Keep your wheels on the road. See you later.